Hi everyone, this is Alisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. It has been a while since my last tutorial. I was working on my new designs and also some um, awesome ideas and I am ready for 2017. There's a lot of tutorials coming up, so stay tuned. Today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D car. So this is the one of the car I made and this is the other one, the dragonfly. And this is the one that I am going to show you um, how to do this. So it looks like that I spent a lot of time to make this 3D car. Um, you got that right. That's what you're going to tell your friend. Yes, I spent a lot of time to make this 3D car just for you. Um, but the truth is it probably take me or you on the 10 minutes. I am going to show um, share with you um, great tips only for you. So that's started. Okay, we have uh, over 50 different tutorials available on our um, DVD library already. If you haven't got a chance, then uh, make sure you check it out. There's a great ideas um, to show you how to use the local King rubber stamp and uh, um, the matching die. So in our tutorial number 45, I already show you how you can create your own stamp positioner. Um, you just need one DVD case. If you um, have a hard time to find a DVD case, the CD case also work too. It's just a little bit smaller, um, but it will work just fine. I think you can find DVD case from the um, Amazon or sometimes um, those kind of um, secondhand store, the people they don't want to get rid of DVD. It's not that hard to find. So we are going to use uh, some cheap board. This is the one actually have a magnetic sheet on the sur surface, um, but if you can find the one piece metal that fit that DVD case, that will work even better. So we're going to upgrade our uh, homemade um, stand positioner to something else. So this is just a um, regular CD um, DVD um, case. What I do is I just put the one um, you can use, just use a cheap cheap board if you can find um if you uh, cannot find it if you can find at least the uh, um, metal sheet that they use for shimming when you use a die cut if you can find the one size that fit inside the DVD I think that works much better than these magnetic um, um, sheets so I have a very sharp knife so I just trim it but, but just be careful um, make sure you don't cut your finger while you're using it so cheap board and magnetic sheets and magnet there you go that work just perfect okay and then today i'm going to show you how you can um multi produce your image in the short time okay that's started so here is our basic uh, stamping tools. We're going to use markers. It's very important to have a reposition um, tape. You can buy from Staples. Um, some nice ink, uh, some nice color ink pack, a tool, tweezer, um, Shopee or um, permanent uh, markers. Some Q-tip. There's a reason we're going to use this. So we are going to make Lisa, uh, um, this is a 3D card, right? So we are going to use our ESO die. Um, you can find our tutorial on how to use this ESO die. It's very easy to use. We are going to use our stamp set. It's called um, Pong Friend Goldfish. And we have the matching die. Um, the background, I use a ripple for the background. So um, today we are going to focus just how to use this stamp positioner. I'm not going to show you how to create this background or how to do the ESO die. If you go to our DVD library, there's, uh, um, there's too many tutorials. It's how to, how to, how to use the ESO die, how to um, create this embossing with the color resist background. So um, how to coloring, you know, so it's a very, um, all is on the, uh, our DVD library, so don't worry about it. Look, how many goldfish that I stem and die cut, and how many butterfly I stem and die cut. Um, before I show you this tutorial, I'm learning all the time too. Uh, every time you stamp it, you have to use a die cut, you have to masking it and run some machine. That 
even we have a die cut, we don't have to use the scissors. Um, it still take a long time. Sometimes you want to make a, a you maybe ten cards. You don't have that much time to stamp, masking it, and die cut it. So in this tutorial, this is really awesome um, idea, and uh, uh, you will see when uh, you want to create this pile of goldfish. No kidding, ten minutes. You can probably create a thirty of them. All you need is to create the right tool. So I'm going to show you how to create this tool and how to use it. If you like my tutorial, please share with your friend. Um, uh, we really want people to know us and go to our website and take a look at what local King Robert stamp have. Okay, so this is our stamp positioner, right? I am um, the homemade stamp positioner. Um, let's open it. Okay. And remember your chipboard, your metal sheet, and your uh, magnets, a few magnets. Okay, and then we are going to need a paper trimmer. Okay, you're going to have a paper trimmer. It's a very, very important that. Um, because I am planning to um, use uh, to um, use the list again. The things I'm going to show you, what the, um, I'm planning to reuse again. So um, it's take a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes to create your tool. But the ones when you create it, this tool, uh, they are always there. So next time when you want to use it, you don't have to go through this again. So save you a lot of time. So just be a patient, just be patient um, when you create the, this tool, pay a little bit of attention, make a good one, and later save you a lot of time. So I like to use a little bit better quality car star to create my um, uh, my template. So this is a Cougar and 100 pound. It's a little bit thicker. And then one thing you really have to do is we have to really create a 90 degree corner. It's very, very important. So when you use a trimmer, okay, don't try to push it to the end of uh, this trimmer. You are actually use those uh, grid, grid, grid to guiding um, you, um, your cutting. So I am going to um, have a 4.5 okay so 4.5 I'm going to um, lay in my paper for um, this this let's do this okay okay 4.5 here and here so I'm going to line out this line okay so I'm going to put it here don't worry you can use the uh, um, stem cleaner the, for the permanent impact you can clean that very easily so make sure to remember don't push your paper don't guide it with uh, this part you go you're going to guide it with this line they have to be exactly 90 percent because if you want to use this one again so we're going to add it okay hold your paper very tight don't let it go okay and then same thing um, probably you need a bigger trimmer okay same thing just remember have to be exactly Okay, line up for like a 90 degree. Okay, so that's just do this one a little bit here. Well, I just cut a little bit here. Okay, so that's C. This is a fit, so if it will fit. Before you put on your stamp positioner, um, I learned the lesson hard way. I always, uh, when I um, create some tutorial, sometimes it hits some rock, and I always try to figure out how I can solve the problem. So we are going to do this. We are going to trim in this corner, okay? And then now, okay, Let's see, very. If you don't have a metal sheet, it's okay. The magnetic sheet works just fine and just not that sticky, but we always have a way to fix that. So after I cut this corner, okay, when I put it, you really have to push the end. So they have to be exactly 90 degrees. So now I'm going to put my magnet back. Okay. With these uh, metal sheets, the metal sheet in the back, they really, really hold it, um, your paper. Okay, so that's it. 
the metal sheet doesn't have to be like a really exactly the same place so a little bit off is okay the purpose is just uh, holding the paper the, tr the really important thing is your paper have to be exactly 90 degree push to the end of the corner every single time when you want to use a um, your stamp position okay so I'm going to do the goldfish okay so don't stick your goldfish here because if you do here maybe when you put the bar maybe they are um they are not inside your paper so do this put the one goldfish here okay. the other one here and here fit it out your um paper here okay like this and then now you close the lid push push okay that's the place okay and now you don't want to remove from now on you don't want to remove your stamps anymore okay so we are going to create okay if you find your magnet is not really strong don't worry just put the masking tape here it works just fine and then we are going to we, um we are going to create our um template now so i'm going to just use uh, um an impact any kind of impact you are going to ink your image i like to um i just use uh, um, one of the impact gently tap 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 okay make sure everywhere is nicely inked um, if your stamps that they are new make sure you use the same block to block the surface and uh, um, they will ink much better so I'm going to close it and then just push this is a homemade stamp positioner is awesome because if sometime you made a boo-boo like your stamps on image you didn't um you didn't get enough ink you can ink again, stamp again. They will be exactly the same place. So now um, I have my image here, right? And I am going to die cut it. So I'm just clean here and remove my magnet here. Okay, and I, I'm going to die cut it. Okay. This um, guiding window is uh, I um, um, is very easy to create. So what are you going to do? You got to have it, and then once when you create it, you can use it again, again. You don't have to um, create this one every single time. How to make this is very easy, but you um, you don't know how. Um, please check our tutorial number twenty seven. Uh, um, a car to die for. We will show you how to do it, but I just uh, quickly I'll um, show you how how you work. So you're gonna grab a piece of regular cardstock, not too thick, and then you are going to just uh, put your die cut uh, on top, and then we're going to use uh, reposition tape. Just tape one corner, and we'll run through the machine. Okay, this is what it look like after I run through the machine. But before you pick up your die, um, I want you to do something extra because we are planning to use this guiding window again and again. So we want to reuse again. So what you're going to do is you are going to use a pen just tracing the outline. Okay, try to get as close as you can. Okay. Make sure you're tracing everywhere like this. And then now, save your tape, you can release them. Okay, so you can, um, um, after you created your um, guiding window, just save it and you can use it again and again. Um, it's good things. So now, we are going to um, place all or three die on top. Try to put as close as you can. Local King Robert stamp and the matching die, they are really, really detailed. So they are really close to the image. So you're going to put your guiding window here and put your die cut on top. See the reason I'm tra um, tracing the outline because the die have to be exactly the same spot. We're gonna use a reposition tape, tape the die, template, and the paper, all three pieces. And then we're gonna circle um, both corners because it's very important. We don't wanna move while we are um, running, run through the machine. So again, this is little one. OK, 
Okay, the third one. So I got all three goldfish here and I'm going to run through the machine. Okay, because I am using 100 pounds of cougar cardstock, it's a little bit thicker. Before you release uh, release your die cut from, the, um, from your plate, make sure they have a clean cutting line before you pop them out. Okay, if you are not sure, just flip over it two, three times or shimming it. We want to make sure that we have a clean cut before we release the die cut. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to remove from the back. So we have our die cut here. One. Try to save your masking tape. Um, I mean reposition tape if you can. Okay. And second. And the third. Okay, save your guiding window. Um, we can use it later again. So this is something that will help you save a lot of time to do it. So I'm going to grab my, okay, this one, the lid is kind of falling apart. Okay, so this is my stamp. Um, Positioner, okay, okay, let's do this. Okay, and we are going to put this um, template back to the case, very important, 90 degree, okay, 90 degree, push, make sure, 90 degree, okay, 90 degree. If you don't have a magnet, use a uh, masking tape. It works just fine. Okay. Oh, actually, I forgot the one thing. This is something, a very good tip. And see, I always share with you. Before we put it back to your case, I want you to do something. I want you to grab a piece of reposition tape. Okay. This is the front. This is the back. And then I want you to just tape some tape to the oops each goldfish okay there is a reason for that one two three okay see turned over is like that so I want you to put this down reposition tape here you can use a masking tape but I found that it's a little bit too sticky or you can use those uh, um, Press and seal for the kitchen, um, you know, the kitchen, they will work just fine. The purpose of that piece of uh, um, reposition tape is to help you to hold your die. So when you stamp it, they probably, uh, they will stay there. So now I'm going to put back, okay, make sure 90 degree, I keep repeating 90 degree is very, very important. If you don't put a 90 degree, you are going to have a hard time to um, line up. Okay, keep pushing your paper to 90 degree, very, very corner. Okay, Whew. now the rest of them is just piece of cake. It's like cutting butter, that easy. We are going to color or um, goldfish. Before, um, I use the markers, but sometimes you want to make a fast, um, like you want to um, multi-produce, right? We want to save some time. If you only want to make one or two cards, you can use markers, but I want to multi-produce um, some card in a very short time. So I am going to use impact, it's much faster. Unless it's very detailed, I'm just using two markers to touch up. So I'm going to do the goldfish. 
and I you can use a smaller ink pad. So you're going to just do the foundation color. Okay. So ochre, a little bit orange. Just here and there, you are give the foundation color, and then we just use a marker to touch up. Okay, and then some red. Okay, and then now we're going to use a brown to touch up. Low cooking rubber stain or markers, ah, they are awesome. You know, um, they are heavy duty. One box marker will last for a long time. And uh, you can blend in this marker. So just a uh, color like this, any way you like. Don't worry about the detail. If your lighter marker accidentally pick up some darker color, just wipe off with a wet cloth. And you can um, easily clean your um, the tip of the marker and they work like new. And our marker is actually, you can um, blend in it too. See, like this is uh, black, right? I'm not going to use uh, my brown color. Blending the tail. See, this is uh, how I call it. Simple and easy. Absolutely no skill required. But don't tell your friend. Always tell your friend, take two hours, make your car. Okay, so I already um, pre cut some goldfish here. Okay, so that's one, that's one, and that's one. Okay, so this, you just put your die cut around to the machine and then just die cut it. But there's one more tip before you um, you do it. This is what you're going to do. Um, especially they are new die cut. Uh, if you never use this die cut before, when you want to cut the white car stock, um, sometimes the pin may be, um, um, you know, it fall, falling a little bit. It kind of contaminate your white um, paper. So you're going to use a Q-tip. Okay, just pick up some uh, water, just kind of clean the back of the um, die cut. You only have to do the first time. Later on, they will work just fine. Only the first one or two times, make sure you clean um, your die cut and then just uh, run to the machine. That's very easy. You can cut like a three goldfish, three goldfish, three goldfish. So, massive produce. Okay, now we are going to put your die cut back to your. Um, your template here is like a puzzle. They will fit perfectly fine. And see, the reason I put that piece of um, reposition tape is for holding your um, your die cut. So that way, when you stamp it, they will stay there. It's, it's, it's very, very easy. They will be perfectly fit. Um, probably you can do this first before you start calling, but our markers are awesome. They stay wet on the rubber, so you have enough time to finish coloring. So, and then we're gonna stand. So put like this, and then just push top of a DVD case. Ready to see what it looks like? Okay, ta-da! This is a perfect show you. See, here is some missing area, right? Some missing area, some missing area. What are you gonna do? You are going to Use your impact, okay? Just give it a little bit touch out. Maybe I didn't push hard enough, but sometimes boo boo happen, right? We are gonna do one more time, okay? Maybe you can standing up. Ha ha! Isn't that awesome? Three. Just like that. Okay, now we are going to use our um, tweezer. Pick up the goldfish. That's, do one more time. Okay, so those are the pre-cut uh, um, goldfish. I just uh, cut, pre-cut it. Very, very easy. You don't have to use a guiding window. Like before, every image, we have to create a guiding window. And that takes forever to do that. So now, okay, you are going to clean your stamps, okay? You do have to clean the stamp. Just clean. But remember, okay, don't pick up your stamp. If you pick up your stamp, you have to create your template again. That's not fun. So now we are going to try some other color. I am going to try the black goldfish. 
Okay, let's try the black goldfish. So, they are black goldfish, but don't just use a black, use a little bit brown. Make interesting. And then, black. Okay. If you want to do the marker, feel free to do that. But you know what? I'm the lazy one. I always try to save some time. Okay, that's this. And if you want to, you can use a marker. Just give a little bit touch out here and there. Some dotting. You know, the goldfish is all looks different. That's it. What's this black goldfish look like? Okay, give a nice push, push. my black fish and uh, I kind of feel I want to stem one more time so I am going to ink my uh, stamps again okay and with some dark brown you don't have to do all of them just a part of them okay And then we are going to oops, pick up the goldfish. One, two, three. Okay, you can clean your stamps like this. Okay. And then we are going to just use um, this color, it's a number 13 ochre. We're going to use the makeup sponge. Just give a little bit touch up around the border. Try to hide those uh, um, white outline between the image. They will look they will looks even better. Okay, do whatever you like. Just soften the edge a little bit. I create all my goldfish here. See, it take a look like it take like a forever, even though it's a water plant too. So what are you gonna do is, um, this is our iso dye. We just assembling together, put everything on top, and then you can actually mail it with number ten envelope too. Or if you have an envelope maker, you can do your own envelope, and that's the final project. It looks good already, right? It looks good. And I have more tips for you. It's like I'm selling the pot and pan. Is it? Then we are going to add this, and then we're going to that. So we are. Uh, we spent a lot of time to make this uh, um this template, right? And uh, but once when I remove this uh, stamp, my template becomes useless. I don't want that. I want to use um, I want to use this template again because I spent a lot of time to do it. So I was thinking, what I can do? This is what I come out. You are going to need one sharpie, okay? I don't have sharpie, so I use a copet. It's permanent impact. You are going to tracing your stamp. Try to do the best you can, okay? If you made a boo boo, no worry. Just use the um, stamp cleaner. To the one you use for clean the stays on. Okay, so you're going to just tracing. So that way you don't have to have like a 20 CD case. Just use one and you can use it again. If you want to work on the other set, use other color marker. And I'm going to show you this is what I do. And then I test it. It worked just perfect. So next time when you want to make the card again, you just have to find your template. And let's do this. So tracing all these. So I tracing all the line, right? And then this stamp set is called Pong Friends. So I'm going to write down Pong Friends. Pong Friends, one. 
And I'm going to just use initial Pong friend 2, Pong friend 3. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open it. The template move is okay as long as you when you when you put it back, you just make sure 90 degree, okay, totally against the the, the side of your um this magnet is too sticky. Okay. So on the template, you're going to write down Pong friend. Pong friends. Now, I'm going to show you, ta-da, 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 I can remove it, and I am going to put it back. Ta, ta, isn't that awesome idea? I really think that's a great idea. And then, <coughs> you just have to spend, you know, some time. To create this tool and you can use it again and again and remember if you want to um, use a different set you just use a different color to mark your outline and then that's ready to go so this uh, one more thing is I'm going to show you like this so this is my butterfly okay and I'm going to grab to put these okay. this okay remember push the end okay 90 degree Have you have this kind of experience when you want to stamping on the regular cardstock, you use black and then they are not just dark enough. With this homemade stamp positioner, this is a regular cardstock, okay? You put it back like this. Okay. Okay, they do have a if you will find out if you put the wrong way. And then, um, that's to, that, let me show you with this one, you can see better. So we are going to use a one light color, okay? And then we are going to stamps. Okay, see, some part is not nicely inked. But if we don't have this stamp positioner, we are going to have a very hard time to stamp it in the right spot. But now, we just have to ink or stamp again. Okay, even you can do like a, um, a corner of dark color. They don't have to be exactly the same. Right? They are perfectly lined up. Or that's do that's uh, just like a black, okay? So I'm going to use a black. But at least the VersaFine is a really nice um, impact. It's very, very um, solid black. When you stamp it, they actually get a very, very nice image. Okay, this is a great example. They are not really dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink my butterfly. You probably have to stamping up and push a little bit hard. Uh -huh. That's what it look like. Okay, and this, what did I make? So now, after this tutorial, I guess you learn a lot of great tips. Um, we have our 2017 show schedule available online uh, already. We are looking for some helper to help us uh, at a show. If you're interested, please send us an um, email. And I'm looking forward to see you soon. Um, please check our website. Uh, we have a great ideas, great um, product. Let us know uh, what we have to do and uh, uh, any kind of tutorial we like to learn. Um, send me an email. We will do our best to make you happy. 
thank you um, so much to watch our tutorial. Um, see you next time.